Thanks, Kian Corla. We used to uh, aspire to a society where we, and a health service where we'd look after people from the cradle to the grave. But I want to deal with really before we get to the cradle and the crisis in the maternity services that exist in this state. Since 2001, the directors of the midwifery services and the CEOs of the three major maternity hospitals have spoken about having a scenario of too few obstetric staff, too few midwives, and overstretched to the point of raising fundamental concerns about safety. And yet, despite that, in response to the closure of the Mount Carmel Hospital last weekend, the Minister for Health says, without a shred of evidence that it'll be okay, the existing hospitals will absorb the 1,000-plus births that Mount Carmel used to take. How could this miracle possibly come off? It is true, as the Minister stated, that the birth rate has declined slightly, but we are nowhere near the levels that we were in uh, 07 and 08, when at that time the HSE commissioned report into our maternity and gynecological services in the greater Dublin area declared a crisis. And at that time, what they said was, was that the hospitals were understaffed and they needed an additional 20 obstetricians, 221 midwives, 20 neonatal nurses and 35 theatre staff across the three main maternity hospitals. Now, since then, the birth rate that they're dealing with has increased by about 40 per cent. And the CEO of the Rotunda in the end of 2012 said that the figures that they were being given to staff those hospitals with at a full-time equivalent of 707.73 staff was not sufficient. And yet last year, the amount of staff they were given to deal with was 679.42 full-time equivalents. Now, this crisis is replicated around the country. There are high sick levels, there is an embargo on recruitment, and staff and midwives are leaving. And the result of this is the type of analysis that we got in the report commissioned by HICWA in uh, the services at University College Galway last year, where there was deemed a general lack of provision and fundamental care. And the answer to this is to cut funding further. Unless we have a radical overhaul of our maternity services, then further lives will be put at risk. And the best way, the safest way, with the best results for women and their children has been established as an investment in midwifery and midwife services. And yet this government has failed to replicate uh, the pilot programs that were done. If we were to invest in that, we would save money and have a better outcome for women and their children. But cutting budgets and failing to attend to that will not deliver in that regard.